Hello my optometry family. Today our topic is how can we treat or manage astigmatism with this stenopic slit. Now before treating the astigmatism the best vision sphere of the patient should be there. Now we will place the best vision sphere of the patient before the patient's eye. As you can see the power of the best vision sphere is minus 2. So by placing the best vision sphere which was minus 2 spherical the visual acuity of the patient was 6 by 9 and now we will add the fogging lenses before the patient's eye and these fogging lenses will reduce the visual acuity of the patient and you know that the plus spherical lenses are the fogging lenses now we will add plus 1.50 spherical before the patient's eye now the spherical correction is minus 2 which was the best vision sphere and now we have add plus 1.50 spherical as fogging lenses before the patient's eye and this fogging lens will reduce the visual acuity of the patient from 6 by 9 to 6 by 18. Now we will place this stenopic slit before the patient's eye and we will rotate this stenopic slit 360 degree. Now we have placed the stenopic slit and now we will rotate gradually and will ask the patient that at which axis the visual acuity is getting better. And suppose our patient preferred when the stenopic slit is coinciding with 90 degree. Now patient has preferred when the stenopic slit is coinciding with 90 degree. And this is our first principal meridian. And now we will gradually reduce these fogging lenses so right now the power of our fogging lenses is plus 1.5 now the stenopic slit is at its plates we will not remove this stenopic slit and now we will reduce the fogging lenses and now i will place plus 1.25 spherical as fogging lenses so I have reduced plus 0 0.25 fog before the patient's eye. And now I will ask the patient that by reducing the fogging lenses, the visual acuity is getting better or not. Now we will reduce the fogging lenses until the patient gets maximum visual acuity. So I will reduce the fogging lenses. I will put plus one spherical before the patient's eye. So at first principal meridian, our fogging lens was plus one. You have to keep it in mind. Now suppose the patient has gained maximum visual acuity at our first principal meridian at 90 degree. So now the next step is we will rotate this tenopic slit 90 degree apart so right now at our first principal meridian the stenopic slit is coinciding with 90 degree and now we will rotate this stenopic slit 90 degree apart so right now it's at 90 and now we will rotate it at 180 degree so right now the visual acuity of the patient will get blur So the question is bothering me that why I rotate the axis of the stenopic slit from 90 degree to 180 degree. So the answer is I have cleared the first principal meridian which was 90 degree and that principal meridian was of the axis meridian. And now I have to clear the next the second principal meridian which is 180 degree. And this principal meridian is of the power meridian. So now 
we will reduce the fog again so our fogging lens right now is plus one spherical so now we will reduce the fogging lens and now we will reduce plus 0 0.25 from the fogging lens and the fogging lens is plus one right now now we will reduce 0.25 from the fogging lens and the new fog is now is plus 0 0.75 so we will reduce the fog until the visual acuity of the patient will get clear. So now we will again reduce the fog. And right now our new fog is 0 0.50. And we will reduce it until the visual acuity of the patient will get clear again. So suppose the final fogging lens is plus 0 0.25 and at this fogging lens the visual acuity of the patient is clear now. Now at the second principal meridian which is power meridian at 180 degree our residual fog was plus 0 0.25 so you have to keep it in mind. Now we will learn some written explanation. As you know that the best vision sphere of our patient was minus 2 spherical. And the visual acuity with this best vision sphere was 6 by 9. And then we add a fog lens and the power of the fogging lens was plus 1.50. And the visual acuity reduced to 6 by 18. And the axis of the stenopic slit was 90 degree. And this 90 degree was our first principal meridian. Then we reduce the fog from plus 1.50 to plus 1 spherical. So at first principal meridian, our residual fog was plus one sphere. And then we rotate the stenopic slit from 90 degree to 180 degree. And 180 degree is our second principal meridian. And now again, we reduce the fog. So the residual fog was plus 1 and then we reduced the fog from plus 1 to plus 0 0.25. So at first principal meridian our residual fog was plus 1 and at second principal meridian our residual fog was plus 0 0.25. Now to find the cylindrical power, we have to move from plus 1 to plus 0 0.25. And you know that the gap between both of these values is 0 0.75. As we are moving from the bigger value of the plus towards the lesser value of the plus so actually we are moving towards the minus direction so the sign of the cylinder would be in minus so minus 0 0.75 is our cylindrical correction and the axis of the cylinder would be 90 degree which our patient preferred for the very first time now the final prescription would be minus 2 with minus 0 0.75 cylinder at 90 degree.